Hello everybody, Chris here, and in this video I'm going to be showing all of you how to remap and replace colors inside of a Pixar image using Asaprite. So the key to doing this is going to be to use a indexed document where every color you see on the screen is linked to one of the positions up here in the color palette window. And then you can either adjust the specific color at that index, which will update everything on the screen, or you can switch to a different color palette and then remap all of the colors to the nearest color in the new palette. So the first step to doing a color replace is going to be to go up to the sprite menu, color mode, and make sure it's set to indexed. If you don't want to edit your original document, what you can also do is select everything and do control C for copy paste or do a control shift C to copy everything merged, which will get everything from all of the visible layers. And then you can go to file new document. Just make sure the new one is an in index. You'll notice that the width and height is automatically matching the original document. Open it up, paste it in, and you can see the indexed colors already adjusting what I had in here. So the other way you would do that is going from Sprite color mode indexed, which is going to update the colors here with some color out of the currently selected color palette. So I'll hit Control Z to get it back to the original. What you might want to do is to change to the color palette you want before you change to indexed mode so that it's already approximating from the original. So if we go to presets here, I can select one of the color palettes that I want to use. Let's just try Comfort 44 over here. And now I'll go to Sprite Color Mode Indexed. And you can see it's updating with the colors from this very fruity light color palette. So if you're already on an indexed color palette and you change the color palette to something else, I'll just grab, uh, let's say this Bubblegum 16 over here. Then you can see initially it kind of messes with everything in the document. What you're going to want to do is to remap so that even if there's a different number of indices, we're going to find the closest approximation color here and automatically assign it. So remap. And here you can see the original adjusted to the new color palette. Now you can see because this is only 16 colors that some of the colors were combined, which might not work so great. So if we hit Control Z a couple times, you might want to use a color palette with the same number or more colors. So if we select here from the drop down, let's just try something else like pair 36 here. And then I'm going to hit remap. And this gives us a uh, much better look compared to the original. So if I hit Control Z a couple times, you can see the original indexed and then the adjusted one. So now the last thing to show when you want to change one of your indexed colors and have it automatically applied to everything in the document, then you're going to want to click over here, edit color mode. So this will allow you to adjust the index colors over here. So let's use alt to do the color picker tool, select this yellow. As you can see, this is LDX fourth. So that's the position up here in our color palette. If we change the color with edit color mode on, it's going to automatically adjust both the color in the palette and everything in the document, since the document colors are just referencing whatever is in this position LDX4. So you can just adjust this to anything you want, and that's going to adjust everywhere across your document. Uh, of course, this is editing the original palette. So if you make changes here and you decide that you want to keep them as a new color palette, then you can click on the drop down here and do save palette as a new preset. Give it a new name. So I'll just call this uh, Chris Custom 1. Hit OK. And now anytime you want to use the same color palette, just click on Presets, find the name, and it should show up here in the list. So that's pretty much everything you need to know about remapping colors inside of Asaprite using indexed color mode on your document and then changing the color palettes. So I've been Chris. I hope all of you found this tutorial helpful. Thanks for watching to the end, and I will see all of you in my future video content.